All right, I'm going to start over because the uh, I had some filters set up that some guy recommended, and they actually destroyed my whole voice. So the whole audio track is just borked. So starting over. All right. So we type in tank ticks abandoned wear. The first result is my abandoned wear. Scroll down, click download. Click the, click the rip version. Uh, this will take a little bit to download, but the site's free, so what are you going to do, right? The next tool you want a tool is called DX Wind. Type DX Wind into Google. It'll give you the Source Forge link. Click download. It'll start downloading. In order to extract that, it's a .rar format, which is like a zip, but it's a different format that Windows won't understand. So you get 7-zip. Once again, Google 7-zip. Hit download. I put this on all my computers. 7-zip, 64-bit. It extracts zip files, RAR files, tons of other archive file formats, does it faster, and it can also compress better. It's better than Windows in every way. Okay, so we've got 7-zip, so we can extract the DXWind. DXWind is a tool to run full-screen programs in a window so that we can run tank ticks on modern systems, uh, Diablo, Dungeon Keeper, StarCraft, and so on. Now, to actually do that... We have our downloaded files. Here's your tank ticks win in rip version. You right click that. Windows could extract this one, but you can also go 7 zip, extract it. We now have the rip. And what we're going to do is go into that and get this folder, tank ticks.rip, or dash rip. We're going to copy it. You can also control C there. Click up here, type in C colon slash. Then we're going to make a folder. I uh, right click, new folder. We're going to type games. And then we're going to double click that, go into games. And then we're going to right click and paste our tank ticks folder. And then we're going to right click on that and rename it. And we're going to remove that dash and the rip part. Make sure you don't leave a space afterward. You want just tank ticks. That's that this file. This is this is this is important. Okay, so we go back to downloads, and we load up, uh, oh, here, 20569FX1 build. That's D DX Wind. So uh, you right-click that, 7-zip, extract to this folder. Uh, so then you can load up that folder, and there's DX Wind. Load up DX Wind, delete this. That won't be there to start with. Okay, so DX Wind works by uh, you. Let's go. Sorry, we need two folders open. We need well. Sorry, load DX Wind. Delete that. And then we're gonna go back to Games Tank Ticks, where you installed Tank Ticks. So DX work. DX Wind expects you to drag your program you want to run into DX Wind. You can then name it whatever you want. That doesn't matter. That's for you. It's got the path. And then there's a lot of settings you can change to make uh, compa different compatibility things to make various games work. We, however, have our job done for us already because instead of dragging it in, we can hit File, Import. And uh, if, you don't, if it doesn't show you these files, don't worry. You go to Downloads or wherever you downloaded it, the DXWin folder, Exports. Okay, so it's got all these files. These are profiles people have already done to make various games work. And there's tons of them. There's hundreds. But we can just hit T to go to Tank Ticks. Load Tank Ticks. And now we can right-click on it and hit Modify. So this is all stuff that's already been written in. They've got notes that they added an extra hook for bypassing the launch of the game registration forms that seems to prevent the execution. All right. What we want to do is we want to click Desktop, Keep Aspect Ratio. That's going to make the game as big as it can, but it'll still leave bars. It won't stretch it, because this is not a widescreen game, so you don't want the whole game stretched. Uh, and then the last thing we're going to do, and, and so, so this the desktop makes it stretch as big as it can, but Keep Aspect Ratio makes it not stretch beyond the borders of what it normally would be. Okay, so then we go to mouse, and we're going to turn mouse clipper on. Okay, that's going to keep the mouse as you play in the game from falling outside of the window. 
So we load the game, and survey says, it'll be black, that's okay, that's just the intro. You can hit escape, skip it. And we go click, uh, time trial, Ta time trial, click. All right, so it's working. Click, click, click. Uh, my mouse is not leaving the screen. You can see that it's a stretch as big as it can be without uh, being uh, under or over another window. Bloop. Um, I think that's all the fixes that we really need to apply. There's nothing we can do about the frame rate. It's by design, the game has a low frame rate, like 16 frames a second or something. So that's all we can do with that. Resolution to stretch is going to be... Um, I think we're good, right? Oh, oh, uh, in the game, the one I sent you uh, at Abandonware actually comes included. I didn't have this before. If you hit load game, uh, once you go into any of these, campaign, load game, the all levels hack or just an unlock save game is uh included so now you can go to any level of any age including the ufo age right and i've never played this so i'm not going to spoil it yet but hey we can go all the way to the last level and that's it tough game standard game it's already tough enough it doesn't need a tough game uh yeah so that's good we okay so we don't have we don't have the game music and, like, the intro cinematic doesn't work. But it definitely includes cinematics. I've seen them. Uh, Dragon. It's got cinematics in it, so... I haven't checked and beat the game, one of the campaigns, to see. These only happen in between the ages, when you beat one of the ages. Like, the, uh, this is the cave, cave age unlocking the medieval dragon age. So you can just watch them if you want, if for some reason you want to watch these cinematics. But anyway, we're good. We're done here. Hope you enjoy the game.